All right, guys, so today we're looking at Tequila Sunrise by the Eagles. Covered the first part pretty well in the first video, so make sure you check that out. For you members, I'll just uh, restate that, hey, I'm using a capo at the first fret here, but not because this song needs a capo. It's standard tuning. I'm just using a guitar that's tuned a half step down. So I put a capo at the first fret to make it standard tuned. So you do not need to have a capo to play this song. Just use standard tuning and it will work wonderfully. All right, so here's how we're gonna do it today. We're gonna go into the verse. Now I talked a lot about the different rhythms that were used in the first part of the song. We're gonna start this actually two measures before the verse starts because many times they will get back to the verse this way. So we're gonna start with our G, which again, we're just holding the first and the sixth strings down at the third fret with our little finger and our ring finger, hammering down the second fret on the fourth string to give you the G6 sound. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two rhythms. So we're gonna do the first one, which is gonna be down, up, down, up with the hammer on, and then up, down, up. And we take the finger back off, the middle finger off at the very end of the last strike of the G. And then we're gonna to go to the busier strum, which is a. That is our basic strum for the song. And I will tell you, they don't always play that busy strum. Sometimes they'll just go. So they kind of vary that a little bit. You also have several guitar tracks playing this with different rhythms on the different guitars. So if you wanna vary it a little bit from what I'm showing you, that's perfectly okay. But the main strum pattern will be the busy one. We're gonna go down, down, up, down, up with the hammer on, and then up, down, up. And you look at your tab sheet there, you will see that stated. Alrighty, so for this verse part, I'm gonna play through it and then I'll describe to you what I'm doing. G and G6 with the two different strum patterns, the one that's less busy first. Busier one. Three times, and then we're gonna go to the D. like that, and that's going to be the verse section. It occurs several times in the song. They also play this. There's a int instrumental part, kind of uh, a duet of guitars playing solos over the top, if you would, and that section is over the verse part as well, so we'll be playing this part. All right, one more time, going through the G. Busy. good to stop the video here, set some looping points, slow it down, use your tab sheets and go over that as much as you need to get it down at your speed. All right, next up is going to be the first bridge of the song. All right, guys, so again, we're studying Tequila Sunrise, and now we're going to look at the first bridge of the song. I say that because there's actually two bridge sections in this song. First bridge uses an E minor chord, all the strings open except second fret on the fourth and fifth strings, a C chord, third fret on your fifth string, second fret on your fourth string, first fret on your second string, and we're gonna go back and forth between the E minor and the C several times, and then we're gonna end up with an A minor, open first string, first fret of the second string, middle two strings, second fret, and a D7 might be new for a lot of you guys, second fret on the first and third strings, first fret on the second string and the open fourth string, D7, and this section sounds like this. to the next verse, okay, which was the same as the first verse. All right, so what we're doing here, we're doing E minor to C, E minor to C. Let's do that one more time. E minor, C, E minor, C, 
E minor, A minor, D7 for two measures, and we go back to the verse. All right, so the rhythm for this is all going to be the same. They're very busy pattern. We're going to just like we had done on the G before, except for the A minor. The A minor is different, and I have the strum pattern there for you. It's going to be a s more space on each one of these chords. So down stroke on the A minor, and then down up, slight rest, and then up, down. That's all we do on the A minor. So it's a almost like we're slowing down there. What we're doing, we're taking the same amount of time, we're just not striking the chord as much. So I'll go through this slow for you, the bridge starting with the E minor. Notice we pick that busy strum pattern up again once we get to the D7. So this is the first bridge, then we go back to the verse again. Next up, bridge two. A minor, a B7, maybe a chord you haven't played before. It's kind of tricky to hold. Second fret on the first, the third, and the fifth strings. First fret on the fourth string, and the open second string is being played. B7. We're going from A minor to B7, so it's a fairly easy switch. If you're holding your regular A minor shape, all you have to do is leave your ring finger down, move your middle finger over to the second fret of the fifth string, take your index finger up and over to the second fret of the fourth string, and then just add your little finger at the second fret of the first string. So that's how we get into B7. Once we get to B7, we're going to go to E minor 7. That's holding the second fret of both the fourth and fifth strings and adding either your little finger or your ring finger, either one, at the third fret of the second string. And all six strings, it's E minor seven. And finally ending this section with a regular A major chord. So we just played A minor, now we're playing A major. And that's the second fret of the second, third, and fourth strings, open first and open fifth. All right, so I'm gonna play through this part and then I'll play it through it slowly. So bridge two will be, I'm gonna lead into it with I think the G and the G6 because it kind of sets it up. So here we go. Again, that is a staple for this song. The G and the G6, you have to have it there. If you just strum G, it's not going to sound right. All right, so bridge two. It's a little bit tricky, probably the hardest part of the song just because of all the chord changes. So I'm going to play it for you slowly here. But remember, you can also take my fast version and slow it down and clip it with loop points and be able to study each section until you have it down. So starting with bridge two, I'll enter in with the G and the G6 twice. And I'm going to go through the whole thing slowly. So it's... the outro and all it does is go back and forth between the G and the G6. And I listened to a couple different versions of this and I really I don't hear the really busy strum pattern at the end. I hear kind of alternating between this strum pattern and then the busy one. Where do you get that from? At the beginning of the song. That's how they entered into the song was with the less busy strum pattern on the G. We're going to go down, up, down, up, put the hammer on, then up, down, up. And they entered with that and they're exiting with the song, with that in the song. So I hope you enjoyed this song. I know there's a lot of parts to this. Take your time with it. Tab sheets, stop the video, set loop function, go through it as many times as you need to to get it down. Questions, comments in the section below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Hope you're enjoying this at Guitar Animal. Always stay tuned for lots of cool stuff coming your way. I'm Trent.